Still working on this 2001 Mustang. Actually just getting started. Wanted to check a few things out. The previous owner was having trouble with this 3.8 liter V6. Said it wouldn't go over five miles an hour at one point. So she just stopped driving it and put it up for sale. Um, so we got it at a good price knowing that there's a mystery. But our first thing we're going to check is the coil pack. Heard that the Ford V6s have a lot of trouble with these. So that's what we're going to test first. It's like three packs in one. You got this one running one and five, this coil pack running uh, two and six, and then this third one is running three and four. So we're gonna set this up here. And we're gonna we're gonna check some resistances. All right. Um, pull off this wire here. But first we do before we take the harness off. The first one over here. That's your power wire. That's the one you're always gonna have a a test probe on. Then this pink one is for the first bank, this red one here is for the second bank, and then this white one here is going to be for the third bank. And we're going to see if the resistances are bad. I can just pull this. You're supposed to have a plastic tab here, but it's so cold out here, I broke it before. All right, so we're going to get a lead on there. Let me get my stuff together here. And uh, we're going to check this out. So I'm going to hold this one on the first one the whole time. And then we're going to check bank one. And let me stay solid on there. We're at 1.2. Um, 1 1.2 is within spec. One thing I read said anywhere from 0.8 to 1.6. Uh, but most people are saying anywhere from like 0.3 to, uh, to 1. So, so far we're good. Now we're on the second one. Second one's at 1. No, 1.0, it's staying pretty solid at. Still okay. Then we're going to the third one here that runs cylinder number three and six. Let's see what we get here. Uh, it's 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0, 3. So it's fluctuating all over. So as long as I'm solid on here and it's fluctuating like that, I'm going to say that's bad. I'm on, I'm on these contacts pretty solid without shaking. This thing's all over the place and never higher than 0.4. So we're going to say that's pretty bad and we're going to replace the coil. However, we had a pending code for cylinder number two. And we also had a fault code for cylinder number one. So this is a little perplexing and a little disheartening. But we're definitely going to replace this coil because we know it's bad. And uh, it's a common problem. And then we're going to see if this car just runs right all together. And we'll keep you posted on that as we do more videos.